Okay guys, so now in this uh, video we're gonna start creating the dandelions uh, flowers and then here is a quick reference that I pulled so you can see the dandelion flowers like the main plant it have like multiple flowers coming from it so one two three four five so we wanna simulate something like that and then for the leaves we're gonna use uh, a texture we're gonna provide you guys that we created for it so you can use it but we're gonna create the main uh, plant here uh, in Maya together so let's do that I, let's me minimize and let's go to the windows general editors and let's go to the content browser it's the same like what we did with the shrub and then under flowers here you can see before we was under plants meshes so this is where we use the bushes and then let's go to flowers and that's where we're gonna go into the dandelion yellow so let's select it and let's go to the uh, viewport and you can see if you hold B like what we did with the shrub we can uh, change the scale you hold B and then uh, uh, left mouse and drag so something like this then let's just draw one dandelion like this oh sorry I, I did two so let's, un let's undo both and then let's draw one okay so that's good so let's close the content browser and then uh, this is what we have for now and let's start working on this settings so let's select it and then you can see here this settings here under the uh, stroke shape we don't need to change anything this is all good we need to go to this dandelion uh, yellow and this is where we're gonna start changing so let's close all these tabs and let's start from the top so as what we did with the shrub we're not gonna go through all the settings we're just gonna go a few of them that's gonna make the biggest difference okay so first uh, under the global scale we can scale it down a little bit you know so, so it's not like that big something like this and then uh, the next thing we're gonna do is like we can go to the mesh and then we want to make sure we don't have too high poly so let's reduce this something like three so when it's compared so when it's convert to polygons it's not gonna be as dense okay and then the next thing we're gonna go as always you can go into tubes and the creation that's where basically the magic happens you can say this is all where we can add all the details so first choose per step that's important one because then we can here enhance and increase the number of dandelions as you can see here we have one two three four five so let's uh, add uh, five so let's see so we had three you know five or six something that looks nice something like this could be good let's randomize even more see what we got so 500 seems a good number they scattered uh, nicely around each other as we can check from the reference here okay so let's keep going with the settings here and then uh, the next thing we can uh, check is basically this segment section we want to make sure it doesn't have too much segments because we want to you know lower it down so let's go something 18 that should be good just lower it down a little bit and then the length we can adjust as well so now want to make sure as you can see the dandelions the flower is not as big as the leaves so the leaves are really big But in our case here, the flowers are big and then the leaves are small. So let's keep working on the settings to change that. So the lens, let's lower it down so they're not as uh, as high. So maybe like 190, something like this. And then the max length, we can enhance it a little bit more. Okay. And then let's keep going with the settings. And let's scroll down this is all fine we don't need to change you can play with the settings and see which one works here we can keep it the same and then let's go on to the growth and then we don't need to use the uh, we don't need to use the buds we can remove the buds so you can see here the buds here this inside we can remove it so you can see it's it's just gonna make it uh, much better and uh, less heavy when we convert it to polygons then let's scroll let's keep scrolling down to branches we don't need to use anything twigs we don't need and then under leaves this is where we're gonna keep working to enhance 
so the first thing here you can see uh, we can enhance the leaf length so we can make it bigger something like this and then the base width and the, uh, the tip width that's also very important so let's enhance make it uh, bigger here with something like this and then the tip width just enhance it a little bit more we're trying to make it like even so this way we can show you the guys the textures so this is the texture we're gonna be applying and then this is a mask we're just trying to make it like uh, an even like a card so this way uh, when you apply the texture it looks nice and there doesn't have any like stretching or weird uh, stuff going on and then the leaf length is important because uh, from the reference these leaves are really uh, long and some dandelions even have uh, longer than this so we're trying to average between them so this is something uh, could be pretty good okay and then the next uh, thing we need to keep going uh, until we reach toward the leaf uh, bend and this is where we can uh, start bending uh, the leaves so if we scroll here you can see we're bending them so we want something uh, not much you know like something 0 0.5 should do and uh, you can see now how these leaves uh, are curling like not natural way because in our reference the leaves they kind of like flat they have some curling but they they kind of like now uh, sideways these leaves so you want to scroll down and then change the settings and then under this uh, leaf curl this is where we're gonna change that so you can see here the leaf facing the sun so let's start adjusting that and then you can see how I start bending them uh, to show correctly we don't wanna do like too much we can like keep them a little bit bent so uh, so it's more natural but this something should be pretty good we don't need to worry about the uh, orientation because uh, it's gonna render correctly okay so this is how it looks so far we're getting close to making it uh, look final and then uh, let's scroll down here to the leaf segments now this leaf segment is d just have too many polys in the leaf we don't need this much since we're gonna be using this as a card we need the minimum to give us uh, some nice effects so maybe something around four you can see it looks pretty good it have nice amount of bent but still a much lower poly and you can also experiment see you don't want something like too much like this that's really weird so four it does the job for us to make it uh, look nice and uh, will do okay so let's scroll down now into the flowers section and then uh, this flower section uh, we need to change uh, some uh, settings as well here we just basically wanna just keep playing with these let's start uh, working with this number of flowers so basically this is as you can see it reduces the amount of these uh, let's say the petals or the flowers we don't want too much again because you wanna make it relatively low poly uh, as you can see here there is pretty good amount but you know we're gonna cheat it a, a little bit since we're not gonna be focusing on like these flowers are not like the main focus but we want them to be in the background uh, so it have a nice uh, look so this is good 65 this does the job and then the petal length uh, we can uh, also adjust that now it's 0 0.8 as you can see we can make it bigger or smaller but uh, in our in this case if you look at the reference always you can see they kind of pretty small comparing to uh, the body so now it's okay like the kind of fine we could leave it as it is or we just ca uh, we can just lower it just a little bit so maybe like something 0.7 uh, that will do pretty good as well because some of their lines are really like small and and some they bigger so we're trying to do the average uh, like sizing okay so that's pretty good maybe we can make it 75 just increase it a little bit and then let's keep going down scroll down if there's something we could change here so onto the petals here we can uh, maybe adjust the segments as well because this is gonna you know add more uh, polys to it I want to make sure 
don't want to have too much poly so let's change it from four to one so you can see it's not a big difference so this is four like it have a nice bend uh, but one it's kind of does the job like it's again it's gonna lower the poly count which is gonna help us a lot because we're gonna be spreading a lot of these like hundreds of them so it's nice to lower the poly as much as we can while still maintaining it to look uh, relatively good so so two doesn't make too much difference so let's keep it one let's keep it one and then uh, last thing we can go down into the, the behavior and under forces and then here we can adjust like how how is the gravity affecting uh, our flowers so so now let's add some bend to them because if you look at the reference there is there is some bend and there's there's something going on so not they they're not really like very straight we do have that uh, built in into our flower but let's uh, also change the path attract if we put it minus one you can see the difference uh, if you put it so back to zero it was like this so we can they all like leaning toward each other so this way we can open it up and then we have a more variation so you can you can keep changing adjusting these settings to reach something that looks uh, kind of nice so maybe something like this should be good minus one so this way basically we have this uh, dandelion uh, finished and uh, in the next video we're gonna basically texture it and then finalize it so we can uh, use it in Arnold and uh, we're gonna also create a variation of it uh, once we go into the texturing we're gonna create uh, now that we have yellow we can create like a purple one and then uh, maybe a red one uh, you know just a variation I know there is no like a red dandelion or yellow but this is, uh, we're gonna scatter them around it's not gonna be noticeable if it's dandelion or not so it's gonna be fine it's a quick way to reuse the same flower and just to change the color of it and the seed so this way it looks really nice okay so we'll see you in the next video